Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Friday. And so today we are going to make a shaker card. And you know, I love shaker cards. I just don't make them very often. And so I'm going to make a card and I'm going to show you another version of it. And um, it's going to be a little bit longer video than normal because shaker cards take a little while. And also I'm going to be using the Perennial Lavender uh, collection that's shown in the new mini catalog. And it is uh, gorgeous. And so I have a lot of pieces to put together. So bear with me on this, but it's gonna be cute when it's done. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so today, I'll put this down so we can see all the way. Today I'm gonna to be using the designer series paper called Perennial Lavender. How convenient that it's all named something I can remember. And so this is the, um, my thing has glue on it. I need to clean it. My glass mat. Uh, this is the designer series paper. Okay, so there's this side. I'm going to be using both sides today and this side. I'm also going to be using, okay, so here's another strip of it. So I'm going to use this side on part of the card. Okay, so I have that. And I'm going to take this bracelet off because it's clink, clink, clinking. Okay, so my card base is going to be white. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. We might as well get this ready. Okay, so we have that ready. And then I need this piece of Lost Lagoon. So this is five and a half, uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so this is going to layer on top. Okay, and um, what I wanna do now is show you that I am going to adhere this to this. Okay, so it's a little bit tone on tone. So I thought I'd break it up. So what I did was I used my die from Scalloped Contours. This obviously is a, is a scallop. And um, I cut this out of Gorgeous Grape cardstock. Okay, so I cut two of these. So I'm going to adhere these now as a border on this piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my adhesive down first. Oops, <laughs> hello, like that. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna need this whole piece because I'm gonna put it on both edges. So the first one I'm going to do is this one. So I'm going to put this one on first and I'm gonna just do a very uh, small scallop, okay? So I'm going to start out like that. Okay, so put that. And then I'm gonna use the other part of the scallop over here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Do a very small scallop. I could do a bigger scallop, right? But I don't really want that. I just want it to be a very small little cute scallop. Okay, this one's a little bit, yeah, that's fine. I was gonna change it, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere this to our card base or to the, not the card base, I'm sorry. I'm gonna adhere to this piece. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. Put this down first. Okay, so now we have that nice little uh, gorgeous grape uh, uh, edge. Okay, now what I wanna do now is, I do want to cut this out, okay? And I'm gonna use two different dies. The first die I'm gonna use is from Stitch Shapes, and it's the square from Sh the Stitched Shapes. Try to say that a whole bunch of times in a row. Um, I'm gonna cut that out, and then I'm going to use from part of the suite. Um, if you look in your mini catalog on page 25, it's the um, perennial postage dies. So I'm gonna use this square one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've got my little mini cut and emboss right here and I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to cut this and this at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through. And let's see, I'm have to cut this down a little bit to get it to run through. <laughs> it's narrower than I thought. Okay, that'll work. I could have brought my big cut and boss over, but no, I thought this would be easier and it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to center that postage stamp square in the center of the other one. And I'm going to run this through. But I want that 
and since you can see the the lavender and it's running up and down obviously I want to make sure I get that lined up properly okay got it no I don't have it ah oh, it just moved on me darn it darn it darn it darn it hang hang on maybe I'll bring it up here and it'll work easier I think if I bring it up on my glass mat it'll hold tighter Okay, so I'm gonna run this piece through and this piece in the center. Could have done this ahead of time, but I didn't. So there you go. It's gonna look funny. It's because I want it to look like a frame, right? I don't want it to look wonky. So that's why I'm being particular about it. And what did I do? Oh, here's the plate. <laughs> like, where's the plate? Oh, I think I moved it again. Golly, Travis. Need some tape. Make it work. There we go. Now it won't move. Yay. Okay, so we got that done. Ta-da. Trash. That is not trash. This is not trash. It's not perfectly centered, but okay, we're going to make it work. Great. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to cut this out of this, if that makes sense, because this is going to, that's going to make the hole for my shaker. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out, and this is going to cut out fine. Even though it's cutting through a lot of cardstock, it's still going to work fine. Can't do it on this cut and emboss. I got to get up and do it on the other cut and emboss. It's too wide to go through the mini. Okay, so hang on a second. I'll be right back. I'll just come over here real quick and cut it out. Okay. Why is this not easy? Okay. Sorry about that. Have just brought the big cutting emboss over to start with. Okay, so this is going to pop out. All right, and now I see I need to trim this just a smidge right here. Okay, okay. I think we're getting there. All right, so this is what I'm going to use for the front. Okay, you can't, this is a little thicker on this side, but I think it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card. So I hope you're all having a good week. Yes, we've had some crazy weather as usual. Woke up Monday morning to an ice storm. So all of our schools were closed. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that was interesting. Okay, so now what I wanna do now is I'm gonna use this back side and I'm going to glue that into the hole so that when I lift this up, that's gonna be inside, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up so I know exactly where to put it. I'm gonna glue this in just like that. Okay, so that's ready to go. Okay, so now let's get on to the shaker part. This is the fun part. Okay, now I have so much product here. Here's the clear sheet. So, you know you get a lot of stuff on clear sheets. Just don't throw it away because we are going to adhere this to the inside of this to make the start of our shaker card. Okay, so now we have the acetate. We do sell acetate. If you don't have any, you can, you know, buy window sheets or acetate, make it work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to use these long skinny strips and they're called foam adhesive strips. And so I am going to put these, I'm gonna make a box around this opening. And you want to make sure that when you're doing this that you don't leave any gaps. Okay, and the reason is because 
your shakers will come out. Okay, so make sure that you uh, butt these right up to the one, if you can see that. Okay, and then this one's a tricky one because it's gotta be perfectly fit in there, which you know, you won't be able to cut it that way. You'll have to trim it as you go. Okay, so I'm going to stick it in there like that and then trim it down just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, now I also want the rest of the card popped up because this card, I don't want the rest of it to kind of bow down. hope that makes sense. So I'm going to put some of these strips on the edges. And you get so many of these. You actually get um, 40 strips. So you're going to have a lot of, to work with. And this one. Now these don't have to, there's no shaker in this part, so these don't have to touch each other. Okay, so done with that part. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is take all these stickies off. Because once you put the shakers in, it's really hard to um, pull these off without messing up your shakers. So, pull these off first, and then add your shakers. Now, you can use anything you want. If you have little bobbles, if you have little sequins, anything you want can go in this hole, okay? What I'm going to use is these champagne iridescent dots. I love these things. They're so pretty. And um, I think I told you before, you get like 600 you can have plenty. Some are tiny, some are a little bigger. I'm not going to overdo it. Maybe a couple more. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put this on top of this. So you just need to line up your corner. This is the tricky part. Line up your corner and then work your way down. Okay. Give it some pressure and look, shake, 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 adorable. And I really like that, um, that purple. Okay, so I used Gorgeous Grape. Okay, and then everything else is stuck down. So now I'm going to decorate. And what I did was I stamped, thank you for your friendship. This is also from the collection. This is actually from the uh, stamp set that's called, um, the perennial postage, um, perennial postage. It's from the stamp set. So I stamped that in gorgeous grape. Okay, I'm just a little strip and I'm going to just fishtail the ends. And then I am going to mount it on a piece of gorgeous grape so that it has a nice little border. Okay, so I like these long skinny, I really like these long skinny sentiments. Ooh, I cut that weird, but that's okay. We're gonna make that work. I should probably have made that a little bit longer, but it's okay. It looks funky. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim this down a little more. So many times you can fix things. You just hang in there with a little patience. Oh wait, I have no patience. I am probably the least patient person around. Okay, I'm gonna put it up here because I'm gonna add a little something down here. And what I'm going to add is, I am going to add a couple of dies. So from the um, other stamp set that is in the, and dies that is in the suite, it's called paint, Painted Lavender. I'm going to cut a piece of lavender and a piece of greenery, 
Okay, so I'm going to, and I can do this on my mini because it's the perfect size. Silly me. I did mess that up. Okay, cut this out. I did not put adhesive sheets on the back, so I'm going to have to glue this on, which is okay. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It truly looks like, I have to tell you, I really think it looks like lavender. Look at that. All right. And don't throw these away because you can use these as, um, as kind of like a stencil. So for your envelope, if you want, you can kind of stencil on your envelope. Okay, so now we're going to add these on. So this one I'm going to put over here, and then this I'm going to put right on top of it. So... Let's start gluing. I am going to use the back of this for my glue. <laughs> Since I don't have my silicone craft sheet with me. Little taps of glue all over this. Tiny taps. Okay. And then, bet you thought I lost the lavender, but I didn't. I knew right where it was. I just love this white, uh, I call it green glue. It's really white glue, but I love it. It's, you can just get tiny little specks. That is so stinking cute. Just want to hold it till it's set. Okay, so we have a shaker card, and then you can put your sentiment inside. Okay, so here's my other one that I made. This one I used the butterfly. So if you haven't seen these in the mini catalog, these are called paper butterfly accents, and you actually get 40 of them different sizes. There's um, five different sizes of butterflies. So I just put the butterfly on. I did use a white, did do a white border on this instead of the, instead of the uh, gorgeous grape. I put my sentiment at the bottom, which I think I need to put a little more adhesive on here. Okay. So I did put my sentiment at the bottom of this one. And then I did put like uh, just three of these at the top but I don't think this one needs it, actually. I think this is fine. I'm not gonna add any uh, on here, I don't think. Good, good shake. Hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope it's not too long. I hope you're not bored with um, everything I made today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. I'm Travis Bossler, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for watching. Bye.